Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Life with 18 Cats. Our uh, Let's Do Brunch. Usually it's dinner date night, but today it's not because, like I said, we're doing brunch time today. I got to figure out my camera angle here because, again, I'm doing this through YouTube, so I don't have it mirrored. I'm going to fix this real quick so I can see you guys. I see Wanda's checking in. Hi, Wanda. How you doing? <laughs> and I see Gertrude's checking in. Hi, Gertrude. Um, we are going solo today, so it's just all of us. Right now, there's just me and Wanda and Gertrude, which is fine. I'm fine with that. Um, Tater Tot is trying to drink out of the faucet right now. You guys can't see it, but she is literally underneath my laptop trying to drink out of the faucet right here. And she's being silly. I'm going to move that <laughs> out of the way. <laughs> So how are you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are doing good today. Um, we're doing kind of a different thing today. Um, <laughs> my lovely twin, Cam Gertrude, you're so cute. I love it so much. I love the fact that we're so twinsies on so many things. It's awesome. <laughs> and yes, everybody, everybody, um, please welcome Gertrude, my little, uh, my little twin in life, apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, so thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I know it's early today. Hopefully, uh, I know that we're not going to have as many people in here as we usually do just because I know a lot of people work. So uh, if you're catching this on replay, thank you for hanging out with me and catching this on replay. I appreciate that. So to people in the future, how are you doing? <laughs> um, we're doing something a little bit different today. So not different. Listen, we're doing HelloFresh, guys. Of course we're doing HelloFresh. I love HelloFresh. I told you that a million times. Not sponsored. Wish I was. Mm, life goals. But um, what we're doing is, actually, this was actually an accident, but I'm glad it happened this way. So sometimes I don't always get to, like, the menu to check what the menu is before they send it to me. And so I just get their, like, random you know, idea of a menu, which is fine. I love that because it's things that I normally wouldn't pick out. And so it kind of keeps me from being in control of that. And I like that aspect of the HelloFresh thing is because they just will send you things. I see Cam. Hi, Cam. How are you doing? <laughs> Make sure Chewy is in the... God. No, I don't use in the bathroom earlier. My God. Listen, Chewy got stuck in the bathroom earlier because he snuck in there without me noticing. I came out. When I went back in, he was in the bathroom. He'd gotten a hold of one of my rags and was dragging around the bathroom. He was wet. The floor was wet. The sink was wet. Everything's all wet. I'm like, Chewy, what are you doing? I dragged him out of the bathroom, and then he sat outside the bathroom door crying because he wanted to come back in. Oh, yeah, and he was in my pants. Yeah, I know. I kind of... I don't have... I can't share that picture. I wish I could. So earlier, I was, un, I was um, unloading the dishwasher. And I took everybody, okay, so I'm going to show you. Hold on. I'm going to grab it so I can show you what it is. So you know these little turkey roasting pans? This is just the lid, but the, the pans and the thing. These big things. So I had taken this out of the dishwasher, had it sitting where Sadie is right now. Next thing I know, Chewy jumps up here, gets in the pan, and actually, like, lays down in the pan like it's his bed. It was so funny. I was like, what are you doing, dude? But, yeah, so that's what Chewy did. That's what Wanda's talking about. Thank you, Wanda. I completely forgot about that. Anyways, so back to HelloFresh. <laughs> so um, so they sent me just a random menu because I didn't check this one. Uh, yeah, I can, share, I, can, I can share that picture later. It was so cute. Um, and one of the things they sent me was a breakfast. And I thought, oh, my gosh, that's so perfect because I probably wouldn't have thought about that for, like, the brunch stream. But what they sent me was, uh, they sent me the stuff to do and everything, I'm going to see if I can do it, I'm, I can't mirror things, and everything bagel, avocado, toast. So that's what we're making this morning. Yay! So excited. Catitude! Oh, no notification today. Um, okay, so Catitude, just so you know, I there probably wasn't, well, if there was a notification, it probably like is going out like now or something. Here's why. Because we're on our own today. We're solo today. And so I'm doing this straight through YouTube. So it wasn't like doing this, like we usually have things set up ahead of time. And then we put out the the um, the upcoming thing. So yeah, so that's probably why you didn't get a notification today. So sorry. Sorry, hon. I'm so sorry. But yeah, this, you can't control YouTube. I wish. No, I, I don't want to control YouTube. No, I don't. I don't want to be responsible for that. Anyways, so yeah. So we are doing the everything avocado. Everything bagel, avocado, toast. 
That's why I have, okay, tater tot, what you doing? What you doing with my toaster? Can I have this? And you don't, you don't play with the toaster. It's plugged in, honey. Come on, get down. Come on, come on, tater tot. Everybody say hi to tater tot. She wants some time. She wants to say hi. Hello, I am tater tot. Yes, you're tater tot. Saying hi to everybody. Huh? Hi, baby girl. Love you. Just a cute pie. Um, so I don't have anybody barricaded right now. Oh, Cam says hi. I don't have anybody barricaded today, so everybody's just kind of running free. So, um, yeah, we might have some visitors here and there, like we just did with Tater Tot. But, um, yeah, and this one's not going to take long today, so we got lots of time to hang out and just chit-chat today. Yay! So for those of you that are here for chit-chat, you're in luck. Um, so, yeah, so we are going to try and get this started. Like I said, this is going to be a weird one because it's not like a normal cooking. There is actually no... Oh, look, Cammie's here. Hi, Cammie. How are you doing? I remembered. Um, so just so you guys remember, just so we know, so we can keep things, keep things straight and everybody has their own like identity in here. Uh, Cammie Roundtree, that's Cam. Elena Camellia, that's Cammie. I think I did that right. I found sounded really sure of myself, didn't I? I hope I was right. <laughs> okay. So we're unpacking our little bag. We have our toasts. These are our toasts. They are actually sour panini slices. For those of you that want to know what we're using. We got sour panini slices. So we're basically making, I don't know why it says everything bagel avocado toast because they're actually panini toast. So yay. Um, we have guacamole, which, oh my God, I love guacamole so much. Numb. Okay, I don't know why I was like looking at that for so long. We have spinach, love spinach. Well, it's a spinach mix, like spinach and greens mix. We have more guacamole. Oh my gosh, look at guacamole, guacamole for days, guys. Love it. We have some everything bagel seasoning. Tear tot, stay down. We have little grape tomatoes. Nom, I love it. Wait a minute, why are we saying congratulations? Oh my gosh, I missed something. We have a new nine-month-old kitten. Oh, Cammie, I'm so happy for you. Congratulations, hon. Yay. Okay, Tear Tot. Tear Tot, honey. You got, I know, you are so excited, aren't you? Are you excited to be Mama's little helper? Are you excited to be Mama's little helper? Mwah, love you. Gagitano. Okay, so that was everything in the bag, guys. We have balsamic. The other thing, the thing is balsamic. Wait a minute, let me just double check before I say that out loud. Yes, balsamic. Balsamic dressing. Yay. Okay, guys. This is really simple. This is not going to take long. So like I said, we are going to be able to like have some time to chat and hang out with it today because, yeah, this is not going to take long at all. So obviously you guys can see the toaster I have. These are bigger than my toaster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. I'm going to cut them in half this way so that they fit in there. That's how we're going to do this. Yeah. We make adjustments, guys. I don't have no fancy schmancy toaster thing. Toaster thing. Yeah. So let's get a knife. We're going to cut these in half. And I'm only gonna do I'm only gonna do these four for right now. I'll I'll do those later. But for right now, we got these. Oh, Wanda. Welcome to the Oh, yay, Wanda. Yay, Wanda. Thank you so much. I appreciate that so much. That's awesome. Everybody say, say, say hi to Wanda. Wanda. Wanda got a membership. Yay. Um. So, so Wanda and I were talking for a good chunk of the morning because when we get on the phone together, it's like, oh, my God. We are on the phone and we lose track of time and we don't know what we're doing. And then next thing we know, we've been on the phone. I'm not joking you when I say this, you guys, for like three hours sometimes. It's so insane. So we were talking for a long time this morning and I know Wanda has got, um, <laughs> she's got, listen, we're going to talk about some things. Okay. We're going to start with this right here. I don't know how well you can see this, but you'll see right here. There's a streak right there. You know what that is? It's gray hair, you guys. You can see it really good right there. Yeah, we can. 
Wanda, do you see what I was talking about? Right? Oh, shoot. Right, right here. Oh, Wanda, thank you so much. And Mary Miles, congratulations on catching that membership. <laughs> Ah, oh, that was so nice of you. Thank you, Wanda. I appreciate it so much. That was very nice of you. That was awesome of you. I'm I love it. And I'm like I said, congratulations, Mary. I haven't been able to watch since you were reintroducing two of your kitties, I think, toward the end of last year. But it's so nice to see you doing good. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. I'm so glad that you got to come back and you caught a live stream. So congrats. <laughs> congratulations, Mary, and welcome to Buiba. Yay! I love that name. That's so cute. I love it so much. <laughs> Everybody say hi to Bwee Bop. Um, So, yes. So, <laughs> twin, I see nothing. No, Gertrude, listen, it's okay. It's okay. Here's the thing. This is how I noticed this. So, when me and Diana were driving back from Kansas City on our last road trip, um, I'm driving and I just happened to catch a good glimpse of myself in the rearview mirror and the light was hitting my my hair just perfectly that I was like Diana I said do you see this she's like and I was like how long has this been there she goes it's been there for a long time I was like what she goes yeah and I'm like why didn't you tell me she's like I thought you knew I'm like no I didn't I didn't notice Yes, Kim's wisdom is showing in her hair. Yes, it is. So, yes, so I have got this streak right in here that you can see a gray hair that's coming in. And I'm like, you know, I can cover it, but I just I'm not going to. I'm gonna let it just happen. So that's number <laughs> that's yeah. Your cats give you gray hairs. You know, sometimes they do, you guys. Sometimes they really do. <laughs> But yeah, so that's my gray hair story is this thing right here. So I'm doing, what did you call it this morning, Wanda? The Bride of Frankenstein streak? Yeah. That's okay. I'll live with that. I can I can deal with that. You got to stay down. You got to stay down. You got to stay down. Yeah. Yeah, you got me, good girl. So anyways, anyways, now that we've, <laughs> now that we've gotten that out of the way, my little gray, gray hair streak. Um, so the first thing it says to do is we're going to take all these little grape tomatoes. We are going to dump them out and hope they don't roll off the counter. Oh, good. They're not. Yay. And what we're going to do is we're going to half them all. We're going to cut them in half. And do, 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 do. Beans. Okay. So we got two bowls here. I did this preemptively because I knew I was going to need them. And, um, again, we're on our own. So I'm going to try to go back and forth. Um, and I'm going to try to make sure I'm paying attention to chat. And this, when are you getting a Hello Fresh, a Fresh sponsorship? Okay, so let's talk about that again, guys. Um, you would have noticed gray hair on a kitty before you ever noticed on yourself. I, I, you're absolutely right, Gertrude. You're absolutely right. So here's the thing. So um, as you guys know, of course I love Hello Fresh. Would a sponsorship be, a, a, be an awesome thing to have happen? It would. It would be awesome to have a HelloFresh sponsorship only because I believe in their product and it would be one that I could easily get behind and promote and be doing it legitimately without having to like read a script in order to like back it up. Um, however, however, companies that size are going to want you to have like 10,000 subscribers before they're even going to look at you. If you're under 10,000 subscribers, here's the thing. I, I bring you guys HelloFresh all the time, right? If at 4,000 subscribers, I could go to HelloFresh and say, hey, I know I only have 4,000 subscribers, but I've been pitching your stuff for this long. And look how many people have used my, used my codes and look how many blah, 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 blah. Then they might take a look at a smaller channel. But with if nobody is actually using the product based on just me doing this, you know, on a daily basis, like we have been, Tear Tot, can I have that? Can I have that? Tear Tot, no, can I have that? Tear Tot, stop stealing my magnets. She's stealing my magnets, you guys. Okay. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, nobody's really used the code, so I can't really back that up without, you know, as being a smaller channel. So there's that. So if we wanted a if we wanted a sponsorship from HelloFresh before we hit 10,000 subscribers, if we would, you know, I would have to be able to go to them and say, "Hey, look, we've gotten 50 subs you guys got 50 new customers because of my links or my codes or whatever." And we don't have that. So 
yeah, we're probably not going to get anything for a sponsorship until, you know, way later in life, which is fine. It's not going to change the fact that I love their product and then I'm going to bring you their product. And yeah. And I'm still going to believe in them no matter what, whether we sponsored or not. But yeah. So thank you for asking that one. I appreciate that. We introduced my cat Sapphire to our new kitten, Sammy. And in a 10 minute period, there was only two hisses. Yay. That's awesome. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that's working out. Okay, guys. So let's see. We are putting in a medium. Okay, first of all, we're going to cut the tomatoes. And we're going to put the tomatoes in the bigger bowl because that's going to have the lettuce and everything in it later. So I'm trying to like read the directions ahead of time so I know which bowl to use for what. Because one of them is just the dressing and the other one is going to have everything else. So we're cutting up tomatoes without cutting up Kimmy's fingers. Yep. So all we're doing is we're halving these little things. And with my very sharp knife, it's really not. It's old. Listen, I have a pink knife. You want to know why? Because one time when we were doing inventory, you're going to hear that story a lot. Um, we, were, we were doing inventory at a store and they had their pink knives on sale. I was like, oh my God, I have to have them. So I bought them. Then we finished doing the inventory and everything. I got home and realized that I left the bag with the newly purchased knives sitting at the counter where we had our setup. I had to call the store. They had to find the bag and I had to go back the next day. Mind you, the store was an hour away from my house. So I had to drive an hour back to the store the next day in order to get, get my pink knives that were so important. I left them more coffee, please. Hello, Chad. I'm watering my near 100 houseplants. So I'll be listening it. Oh my gosh. hundred. Listen, you and my son would get along. Holy cow. My son loves plants. He loves house plants. He especially loves those uh, air, plants. air plants. Yeah, air plants. <clears throat> I loved HelloFresh. It was a lifesaver during the unspoken years of quarantine. Hello, I kept all the recipes. Oh my gosh, I'll show you. For those of you that have never seen my collection, oh my God. Here's my collection. It's literally a cookbook at this point. I've kept every single one of them too. Yeah. And it's not because I'm a hoarder. Don't even. No, no, no. Um, so I've kept them all too. I love them so much. How cool. So I kill air plants and cacti. So I you just find how listen, I'm not judging. I just got a question. How do you kill air plants and cactus? I thought those were like unkillable. <laughs> no, my son, listen. When I talked to my son one time, I'm like, what are you doing right now? He goes, I'm giving my plants a bath. And I'm like, you're doing what? He said, I'm giving my plants a bath. Well, it turns out he was giving his air plants a bath. He like does this, like, I don't know. I'm super specialized about <laughs> I love it. Oh my God, that's so funny. Yeah, apparently he gives his air plants a bath. So yeah. Cam says, wow, I want to do HelloFresh so much, but Wendell isn't on board. I'm working on him. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Pink pants, HelloFresh. My goodness. Everybody's trying to get everything. Yeah, I know. Gifted and talented. There we go. That's right, Gertrude. Okay, so back to this. We're going to get so sidetracked. I love it. Thank God it's this kind of recipe because if it was something else, we'd be burning things, I think. Yeah. Okay, so in a medium bowl, we're going to combine the guacamole, half of the everything bagel seasoning, and a drizzle of oil. Okay, so let's start with the with the guacamole, which, oh my god, I'm so excited about the guacamole, you guys. I got to get my spatula. Oh, spatula. Come here. Okay. Spatula. Bowl. Guacamole. Oh my god, I love guacamole. You guys, listen. This is literally one of my favorite things in the whole world. I will put guacamole on literally everything. I I love guacamole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or oh, my bag. There's my bag. I just got him to agree to the pink pan so I can't push it. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say, yeah, maybe you should spread it out a little. <laughs> 
I know she listen, you guys don't even understand. This this the girl, she was working on the pink pants, trying to find him, trying to find him. She finally found him, she finally got him. She sent me a picture and an email. She is so excited about getting the pink pants. I am so excited for you. I was I really hope you like them. I really hope you do. My cousin just my husband just left for work and left me with all three cats and our snake. Holy cow, really? How are you gonna manage that? Come on. <laughs> I think you'll be just fine. Oh my gosh, there you go, Wanda. Look at Cam. Cam, Wanda just gave you a brilliant idea. What better way to break in the pink pans than with HelloFresh? Come on. Wanda, you're a genius. You're a genius. I love it. Wanda's got her thinking cap on today. It's great. <laughs> You guys, uh, pink pants sound awesome. Listen, um, in case you haven't seen them, I have pink pants. These are my my pink diamond pants. These are the ones that um Cam just got. She's been searching for them and searching for them and finally got them, and she was super excited. But yeah, I love my pink pants. My pink pants are awesome. Okay, so we've got the guacamole in there, finally, and now I'm gonna put half of the everything bagel seasoning in here. Let's see if we can do half. Listen, I do overdo everything, so. Okay, I think that's about half. Okay, there we got half of the everything bagel bagel seasoning in there. I got it for $88 at Walmart Online, yes. One that's called, kind, oh God, it's called finding a loophole. I love it. Loopholes are awesome, sometimes. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes when somebody uses a loophole against me, then I'm like, hey, I'm not a fan of loopholes. But for this, I'm a fan of loopholes. I can get behind this loophole. All right, so I'm stirring this up and I'm gonna use a drizzle of oil in here quick. And actually, you know what? Now that I think, because it wants olive oil and I understand why, all I have is vegetable oil. I think I'm gonna skip that part because I'm not the hugest fan. Hello, perfect. Would you like to say hi? Come here, pretty girl. Hi, pretty girl. Wanna say hi? Would you like to say hi? This is Perfect Kitten. Perfect Kitten says hi. Yes. Oh, it sounds like there's a ghost in our house because when the wind and all and all blows, it makes a howling sound through the front door. Oh my gosh. Oh no. And Deborah is joining us for lunch break. Hi, Deborah. I'm so glad you're here. I'm glad you could make it and stop in. Hi, Perfect. Oh, look, Cam says hi to Perfect. Yes, he said hi to Perfect Kitten. Oh, um, I don't have a I don't have a, a thing to show you guys because Jenna's not here with us today, but um if you guys go to the merch store, we just dropped new merch. Uh, the next couple of keys. I don't remember what number we're on right now. I've lost track. But if you go to the merch store, you can check it out. And you can see um, which ones we just launched. I want to say per perfect. She might have been part of the last one. Oh, wait a minute. Figaro. F I think Figaro is out. Mittens is out. Amber. Or not Amber. Not Amber yet. Um, Figaro. Mittens. Uh, perfect. Jay-Z just arrived. Doesn't fall down. Yay, Jay-Z! Let's go! <laughs> Jay-Z managed to come sliding on in here and didn't fall down. I love it. That's awesome. Okay, so like I said, I am not going to put the oil in here because you know what? I just don't want to put the oil in there because I want it to just be this. I like, the, listen, I love avocado, you guys. I love avocado and I love the, the guacamole and the consistency is really nice. It's a nice, um, like a spread kind of consistency. So I think we're just going to leave that as it is. I'm just going to mix the seasoning into it. Yeah. All right. So there's that. Now, in here, we're going to mix the greens. Oh, come on. I will not be bested by a bag. No. Okay, so we're mixing the greens, the tomatoes, and half the balsamic glaze into this bowl. And you're probably thinking to yourself, wait a minute, I thought these were bagels. Why are you making a salad? Because all of this goes on to these. <clears throat> Sounds so good. It sounds so good. So this was a fun one because I wanted to make sure um, that you guys, you guys got to see just not, not just dinners or lunches or whatever, but they also have breakfast. So this is a breakfast one that they're doing. So it says half of the balsamic glaze. So we're going to do half of this. Oh, 
I think it was a little bit more than half, but that's okay. That's all right. All right. Come on, don't don't fall down, please. Stay. Stay. I gotta put this somewhere where it's not gonna slide down. Okay, there we go. All right, good. Now I'm gonna put these into here and get those toasting. I'm gonna get a plate. See what I mean? This is gonna be a really quick one today, guys. This one's not gonna take long at all at all. At all at all. No. Um, guess what, Cam? You're in luck. They do have desserts. They have, like I said, when I tell you they have everything, they have breakfast, they have brunch, they have lunch, they have dinner, they have date. They have literally have, no, I'm not kidding. Yes, really. They have date night, Tinder, um, Tinder dinners. They have desserts. They have all of it. So yes, Cam, like I said, go to HelloFresh, go check out their menu items. You will find out that they literally have everything and that includes desserts. So if that's what's going to sway your hubby, you win. Promise. What are we doing? Listen, okay, I know you guys saw, you guys saw the cleaning video for the kitchen the other day. And I showed you guys how Bagheera has figured out how to nose his way into the, uh, the food bowl and seal the food. Turns out he's not the only one. I caught Marcel earlier. I've caught mittens today. And Perfect was just in there. Um, Cam, Cam says, I got to get busy, LOL. I'll, I'll say I want it for my 60th birthday present. <laughs> That's a good plan. I like, listen, I like the way you think. I really do. I really like the way you think. You get in there and you go, you go right outside the box. I'm eating these. I am. I love spinach, you guys. So while that's toasting, let's see. <laughs> when these are done, I am going to put a thin layer, probably not a thin layer, probably a little bit thicker. Is Jenna cheating on us with another YouTuber? <laughs> no, actually, Jenna has got, she's spending time with her mom today. So we're doing this by ourselves. Yes, tea time too. Yes, um, but it probably won't be a thin layer. I'll probably do a pretty thick layer because I love, like I said, I love guacamole, you guys. I can't help it. Okay, so there's my. I'm gonna put these in here while I'm doing this. So we're gonna take guacamole spread. So basically, you know what we're making? Oh God, I just realized, you guys, we are fancy today. We are making. We're basically making avocado toast. Yep, I just realized that, and I love that idea. Because I keep hearing fancy people. When I say fancy people, I mean people that eat with their pinkies or drink with their pinkies up. I'm not that person. <laughs> so what we do is we take and we just put a layer of the guacamole. Oh, can you see it? I don't know if you can because of the stupid light. Okay, you can see it right there, I think. Yeah. So we put guacamole on the toast. And then we're going to take... <laughs> I'm going to stir this up a little bit, just a little, just enough to, ah, no. Okay, I'm going to have to eat that one. Them's the rules. So now we are going to take some of this, put this on top of the toast. It's not going to be pretty, guys, because I can't do this pretty. Get off me. Okay. So we're putting a little bit of avocado, a little bit of this on top of the toast. And then I'm going to grab some tomatoes out of here. I'm going to put some tomatoes on top of here too. And you see how easy that was, guys? Look at that. We just made avocado toast from HelloFresh. I'm going to take a bite. Okay, so just be, don't, don't judge me. Mm. Mm. That is so good. This is super good, guys. And see how quick and easy that one was? My mother-in-law would love that breakfast. Hey, you know what? Like I said, it might not be vegan, 
but it is for sure healthy. It is obviously vegetarian, and it's really good. I love balsamic vinegar stuff. You got to eat what you make. I couldn't wait to eat it. Can I tell you something? I haven't eaten yet today, so I am literally, I'm surprised you guys couldn't hear my stomach growling. I was so hungry, but I knew I was doing this today, so I was like, no, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait. So I waited, and now I'm finally getting to eat. So, yeah, gear up. Huh. You stay out of my avocado bread with my avocado toast. Hi, Bagheera. How you doing? How you doing, buddy boy? Did you come to say hi? I'm moving this. <laughs> hi, dear boy. How you doing, honey? Huh? How you doing? How you doing, my boy? Gira came to say hi. So, yeah. So, like I said, this was a quick one. It was an easy one. Just a brunch one. No big deal. But um, that's how quick that was. Everything is, I can't, I can't stress this enough for you guys. Like, especially in the house with these guys, these guys are always wanting to know what's going on, what I'm doing, whatever, whatever. So when I have to cook dinners that take me a long time to make, it's just more time I'm taking away from them and more chances for them to get in here and get into things. So HelloFresh is super simple and super fast. So it gets me in and out of the kitchen a lot faster. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to do this. This is my shameless plug, guys. I don't know why I'm calling it a shameless plug. It's really not. It's just, you know, I'm going to hold these up just so that you guys can come back later on and you guys can scan these QR codes if you want to. There's one. There's two. And if you guys come back and watch this later on, you guys can scan these with your phone. Or you can see the little the code right next to it. Oh, I gotta do this so that you can actually scan it. But there's three codes for you guys. And what you're gonna get with these codes is like I've said before, um, you get your first box for free. And when I say a box, you get five meals, five two-person meals for free. So you get a whole week worth of dinners for free. And then you get 15% off the next two boxes. If you guys want some perspective to that, each box is right around $100, depending on what you get in your meals. So if you go in there and you change the meal options, you can get premium meals, which are a little bit more expensive. So you might have, like one week, your, your bill might be $100. The next week, if you have premium meals in there, it might be like $113. But it fluctuates depending on that. If you get all the just the regular, regular everyday meals, your bill is about $100, roughly about $100 a week. So 15% off of that, you're going to be getting the first box for free. And the next two boxes are going to be like right around 80, 90 bucks. Um, so I'm tired of stuff I make and I get stressed to try new dishes because I got to make sure to have all the ingredients. What is an average per meal per person? You mean cost? Okay. So usually it's like $3.99 a person. If you get just their, their their regular meals, if you're not if you're not in the menu getting like premium options, like premium options are like $8.99, $9.99 per person. But just the regular baseline, basically everything you've seen me make has been pretty much just their baseline. It comes down to about $3.99 per person. So, and it's all two-person meals. And oh, that that's what I'm saying. Go, I mean, I challenge you guys to go to the store, go shopping for a week. And have that come out to be about three three ninety nine a person. It's not easy to do these days. So yeah, when you break it down that far, it's literally like three ninety nine. Some of them are four ninety nine. It just depends on like the intricacies of like the ingredients, how big the meal is. Obviously, it's going to fluctuate. But again, it's way cheaper to do it this way, especially like what you were saying, making sure you have all the ingredients. You know, everything bagel stuff the everything bagel seasoning, they sell that. Yeah, I can go to the store and go to Walmart and get that. I get a big container of it. They don't sell it in little pouches like this. So I'd go buy a big old container of it. I'd spend like five, six bucks on that, bring it home, use it once, and then never touch it again. Well, now I just wasted like five bucks. And in my world, I don't like wasting a dollar. So yeah. What's the difference between basic and the more expensive ones as far as the meal? Um, the premium ones are things like... um. Atlantic salmon. And I don't mean that it's all the, all the seafood ones, but I'm just saying, so instead of just getting like tilapia for a dinner, you'd get 
salmon or something like that. The higher end things. Um, instead of getting just like a sirloin steak, you'd get like a T-bone steak dinner. That's the difference between um, between the regular ones and then the premium options. So yeah. <clears throat> More coffee, please. Do they have gluten-free options? They do. They have gluten. They have vegan. They have vegetarian. They have desserts. They have breakfast. They have brunch. They have lunch. They have dinner. They can julienne, chop, fry, slice, slice, all that. I feel like I'm one of those infomercials now, like I'm doing the slap chop or something. I don't know. Yes, mignon. Exactly. Yep. Um, I just got my... Cement mixing tray litter box from Home Depot. Can't wait to see the kitty's reaction. Oh, you have to let me know how it works. Oh, yeah. So, Kim, you ha have you tried the desserts? I have not. I have not tried the desserts because I just don't get desserts around here. Um, I just stick with just the basic dinners and that's it. First of all, because I don't... Because I have hot fudge and whipped cream and ice cream. And I'm happy that with that. <laughs> um... So yeah, I have, I have my little dessert that I have here. I try, listen, you guys, I try really hard to watch what I eat as far as like sweets are concerned. One, mostly because, you know, I'm getting older and I don't want to, I know it, when the older he gets, the harder it is to get weight off and I don't want to fall into that. So I'm just trying to be a little bit more cautious about what I eat junk food wise. I do like my junk food occasionally, and especially since, you know, like I've said before, I don't, I don't think, you, I think you guys know this. I'm anemic. So keeping weight on is not always easy for me. And that causes problems with fatigue and joint pain and being cold a lot. So, um, so I, I do, I do splurge on junk food occasionally just because the once in a while, all those calories really does help with the weight thing. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I, I will, I will, I will justify my junk food all day long with that. Um, quick question. How, how do you deal with a kitty who won't get along with any other cat? Um, so I'm going to say this again, just so you guys, so we're clear about this. Cause I don't want anybody thinking that I'm anything other than what I am. I am only an expert on my cats. I really am. Um, most of mine get along, as you guys have seen. We, do Are we a perfect household? No. Um, Oswald and Mittens do not like Bagheera. Bagheera does not want to be bothered by any other anybody else. He stays by himself. He stays by me. Um, we've had our uprisings in the house. We've had our issues in the house. And I have made adjustments in my house to accommodate that. Like my front room now has a screen door on it. It's actually like a screen door, but I used uh, chicken fencing for the screening so that when I go to bed at night, thank you, Pebbles. Um, when I go to bed at night, Bagheera goes into the front room by himself with that screen door shut so that he has his private time and his quiet time and nobody can bother him while I'm in bed because um, I can't protect him otherwise. So that's how we manage things around here. So basically it comes down to you just got to referee as best you can. I mean, really, and, and how you handle it, I, I don't, I wish I could give you guys all kinds of advice as to how exactly to handle things and make things work. No, here, you stay over here. Stay over here, honey. Stay right there. Good boy. Um, But like I said, I'm only an expert on my cats. I know what works in my house. And how do I know what works in my house? Trial and error. Trial and error, guys. You pretty much got to just do whatever you can and try to make sure that you're keeping everybody safe and happy. And yeah, so you can have all the experts in the world come into your house and look at your situation and whatever. It really comes down to just what are you willing to do to try to accommodate them and to make sure that they're safe. If you have a situation where somebody's not safe and they're like literally their health and well being is at stake, it really comes down to if it came down to a matter of one of my cats was being injured as a result, I would have no choice but to rehome somebody. Cause I won't let that happen as of right now. Things are, things are going well enough where I don't have to worry about that. Um, my fave is vanilla ice cream with chocolate on it. Cam, if you saw my video the other day, you know about my hot fudge. <laughs> it's good. You get hello fresh since I, it's just you, you ensure you get iron, etc. Cause it's easy to just, I know it, it really is. It's so easy with these guys getting busy and just grabbing a snack here and there. So yes, HelloFresh has been wonderful for the fact that it's keeping me like getting things that I need in me, like vitamins and minerals and iron and protein and whatever. So yeah, it's been really good for that. 
I saw a video where a guy in his 30s said he would not marry a woman that can cook because he doesn't want to gain weight. I've never heard a guy say that. What? Oh, but I thought the way to a man's heart was through his stomach. Maybe he doesn't have a heart, guys. I don't know. I didn't see that one. Um, can we have to separate a few at night too? Yeah, I mean, and like I said, that's just that that's what you gotta do. You gotta separate them. Um and again, you know, if you go back in the history of my channel, you'll see that I did a whole entire series on trying my best to follow um, follow the, the recommended way to do a reintroduction. It just isn't going to work here. It won't work here. So my only option at this point is when I can't be the one sitting there actually refereeing things, I have to keep them separated. But it works and everybody's happy. As a pet owner, you have to figure out what works best for your kitty and your household. Exactly, Cam. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Um, Bop, you probably don't remember, but I was actually trying to reintroduce my two orange babies during the same time and commented. Unfortunately, my girl Tabby caught FIP in January, so that stopped me. Oh, I'm so sorry. And I do remember the orange kitties. I mean, I've got a lot of people that were trying the, the reintroduction thing at the same time, too. I mean, I, I, think, I'm, I think I'm remembering you. Could be somebody else. Um, Gira, honey, how about you go over here? Here, you go over here away from the marbles, okay? Now, see that? That's how I've got to keep things in my house. I've just got to keep an eye on who's where and who's doing what. Gira is over here now behind the laptop. Hey, don't go, honey. I love you. I love you, Gira. You think you do? I love you, handsome boy. I know. So if the, if the yeah, if the camera's going to shake now because Gear is rubbing his face on the side of the, the laptop. Hi, Gear Boy. Do you want to come back over here? Would you like to come back over here? Come here. You can come back over here. Okay. You can come over here. Okay. Marbles. Marbles, sir. Here, you come over here. Here, we're going to do a little dance. There. You stay over there in your little supervisor position. You stay right there. Okay. See what I mean? It's, it's all about your house and what works. It really is. Um, I'm really sorry to hear about, about your baby though. That's, that's gotta be hard. I don't, I, listen, I've never had to deal with that, but that's, she's doing fine though. She just entered observation yesterday. Okay. Well, good. That's it, Kim. He doesn't have a heart. Now it makes sense. Thank you, twin. <laughs> Glad I could help. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to just, you know, sometimes you just can't see the situation for what it is when you're the one in it. Sometimes an outside perspective. I don't know. Our big male Leo doesn't get along with the crew. He has started peeing little here and there. I already walk in on a harness, walk him on a harness daily. Anyway, we bought bought him a huge enclosed chicken coop. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool idea. Hubby hasn't put together yet, but we feel he'll like the coop as it's way bigger in our in our screen porch. Hey, you know what? I bet that'll work. Well, you just got to find out what works. You just got to try stuff. Like I said, trial and error is the best way you can do it. Thanks for sharing. I simply look for other people's experience. And so it reminds me that I'm doing the best for them. And you know what? That's one of the things I want to make sure you guys understand. Please don't. Listen, I hate this. I hate it when people get on here and they start preaching that their way is the only way. And if you're not doing it their way, then you're not doing the best for your animal and blah, blah, blah. Listen, listen, let me explain something to you. Okay. Please listen to me. If you're doing what you can, to make sure that your pets are happy and your pets are healthy and your pets are loved, then you are doing the right thing. You don't have to be doing things the way I do them. You don't have to be doing them the way so-and-so does them. You do them the way that makes your household work and function and be healthy and happy. And you are a good pet parent. Don't let anybody tell us, tell you otherwise and do not fall into that, that trap. People are trying to sell you something if they're trying to sell you their way. So please, it makes me so crazy when people jump in here and say, oh, I feel like such a bad pet parent because I'm not doing it the way so-and-so is doing it. So-and-so doesn't live in your house. You live in your house. If your animals are happy, look at, I got 19 cats. You know how many people jump into this comment section and tell me that I'm a horrible person, that I'm a cat hoarder, that I'm all these things, blah, 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 without watching a single video. You know what? They can say whatever they want. I know my house. My cats are happy. My cats are healthy. My cats are loved. My cats are better cared for than most people's kids. So they can say whatever they want. I don't care. You do what's best for you. You do what's best for you. Oh, thanks for talking. Yeah, uh, Marbles is in position. Yes, Marbles is now. Oh, no, Marbles left. Okay, he's done supervising. 
Um, I plan on getting one too. The crate separates the cats, but they can see and smell each other slowly. The cats are allowed to interact, but separate when things get intense. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a good idea, Wanda. I mean, that's that's like the ideal way to do it. Unfortunately, in my situation, because everybody's been around each other for so long, just that reintroduction thing was just not going to work. I didn't get a notification. Ken, it's okay. We're here. We're hanging out. You didn't miss. The only thing you missed was me mixing a couple things together and throwing it on some toast. Because we just did, we just did some everything, what do they call it? Everything bagel avocado toast. So, yeah, we're just hanging out and talking, Ken. You're here. I'm glad you, I'm glad you made it, hon. Gertrude, we go... We got for 119 from Amazon shipping was like, okay, you guys are talking about that. All right, good. Everyone is taken care of and everyone has their space with their own playtime and all. Thanks, Kim. I've been told I was neglecting them because they aren't all together 24 seven. Cammie, mm -mm. you're doing just fine. You do things your way. And as long as you can, if you listen, you know, your animals, that's the thing. Like I said, you can, you can bring in whoever you want to into your house. They are not there 24, seven, 365. You are. So as long as you, <laughs> wait, wait, I, I jumped ahead. I'm not going to jump ahead. Hang on. <laughs> um, you do take better care of your babies than people do of their kids. I thank you, Cam. I appreciate that. I have a favor to ask, ask away. Could you make a picture except for well, all your kitties are named by them? I'll try to learn who's who. Um, you know what, Cam, if you go to my, if you just go to my channel, the very first video, that the, the video that actually pops up and starts playing should be a video of all of them with their names on the screen, each one. Check that one out. Um, <clears throat> yeah, just go to my channel. I think I have that one as the pinned video. So it, it should start playing right away as soon as you go to my channel. Um, if not, it's just uh, 19 reasons. What is it? 19 reasons for cats or something like that. But yeah, try that one. That one will give you, that'll tell you exactly who's who. Um, Ken hated, every day and did everyone hear OJ Simpson's dead? He can finally rest in peace now that his wife's killer is dead. <laughs> I can't. Listen, listen, guys. I'm going to be fair here. Okay. I'm going to be fair. I agree, Ken. I agree. But, but here's the thing. He's gone. He's dead. He has now paid for his sins. He's square with the house. So we should just let it go. Yeah. <laughs> that's Gertrude. That's terrible and hilarious. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> and Cammy, Cammy, you're amazing, Kim. Thank you. Listen, just like I said, don't let anybody bully you. Don't let nobody, like I said, people are trying, are constantly trying to sell you something and sell you their way when they don't live in your house. That's why I don't listen to what all these other, you take, take what you can get out of people's advice and leave the rest. Don't worry about the crap. Just if somebody, you know, some of the worst people in the world can have actually some really good advice sometimes. So just make sure you're just taking the, the right stuff out of what people say. Just don't make people, don't let people talk to you like that. Cause it's not right. I have watched, okay. Okay. I have watched him. Sorry. I'm, a, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a bit senile. Cam. <laughs> Everyone has an opinion, but you need to do what's best for you. Exactly. Wanda. There you go. Ken wins the prize today for the best comment. Listen, <laughs> I hate cancer. But you know, even a broken clock is right twice a day. I, I agree. Cancer is a horrible thing. But at the same time, you know, he's, uh, I can't help but laugh when I saw the meme. People took the, um, some shots of when he was in the slow speed chase in the white Bronco. And they've turned the Bronco into a hearse and made and put it into that. So it looks like the cops are chasing a hearse. <laughs> I know I'm going straight to hell for this, but it's so funny. It really is because I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We all know. We all know just because just because the prosecution couldn't do the whole beyond a shadow of a doubt thing doesn't mean that he was innocent. And you know what? If you go back and find old interviews with the with the um, with the people that were on the jury, they even said just because we had to say innocent doesn't mean he's not guilty. That's what they said. Yeah. Buried in a coffin. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. God damn it. You guys are awful. It's so funny. 
regarding bullying, try your best not to bully yourself either. Yes, more coffee, please. Good point. Good point. Cammy. I hope you read that. I hope you heard that. Don't bully yourself. Do not let, not only do you do not let any other people do it, um, but don't, don't, don't bully yourself either. And Cam, I lost my dad to cancer in 2007. It is horrible. It is. And, I, and I'm not saying that it's a good thing, but I don't feel sorry for OJ. Nope, I don't. Mm -mm. The horrible thing, but when it takes out someone like him, well, like I said, even broken. Yes. Okay. I agree. <laughs> he didn't he didn't try to act innocent after the verdict either in recent interviews he got real smart listen he wrote he started writing a book called if i did it come on guys who do, people that is yes. whatever <laughs> this community is awesome i appreciate everyone who said encouraging things just want to make sure all our kitties are pet and pets are safe healthy and happy and that right there my dear is why I'm telling you, don't worry about what anybody else says. The fact that that is your main concern and that's where your priority lies says everything it needs to say. You are doing just fine. Oh no, y'all. I was just commenting on cancer, not defending. Okay, thank you. Okay. I was, I was like, oh no. Oh no. Do I know he was, he was not okay. Yeah. <clears throat> You'll know in your heart that you're doing the best for them. Yeah, Cam, I agree. That's exactly, I, I think that's a good point. That's a very good point. Um, what else were we talking about? Reese, hi, I have three. I cannot imagine how you love and care for each and every angel. Okay. Um, so I didn't just get like 18, 19 cats all at once. Cause that would be, oh, I can't even imagine going from like no cats to having all kinds of cats all at once. I've literally, these guys have kind of come into my life over the course of like 15 years. So it's like an adjustment thing. That's the best way I can explain it. Um, it's a lot of work. It's a labor of love. It's not for everybody. I do not suggest that anybody goes out and just collects up, you know, this many cats. I don't. I don't for a second. This is just where my life headed. This is my life, where my life went. And yeah, slowly over time, I've kind of just gotten them. And so it's not, I don't want to say it's not difficult because it is. It's just... Not all at once, because all at once would have been awful. I'm trying to integrate a stray brother-sister pair to the resident brother-sister pair. It's been nearly a year, and it's rough. I Hey, I hear you. I hear you. It can be really rough. It really can. Anyone see the new Beetlejuice 2 trailer? I haven't. I haven't. I don't know if I want to see that one. Oh, goodness. Uh, Suzanne, I have four cats, two hate each other, so I keep them separate. And you do what you gotta do. As long as nobody's being injured, nobody's being hurt. Like I said the other day, I do what I have to do. Nobody's being injured, nobody's being hurt. The worst thing that's happening is it's an inconvenience to me. And I'm fine with that. Because, I mean, if I'm fine with it, it's not a true inconvenience. Does it make life a little bit more difficult to have to make those adjustments? Sure it does. Do I mind? Not a bit. Not a bit. Cammy, you're awesome. <laughs> yes. We have 12 inside, 14 outside, some indoor, outdoor pens. We have four acres. Hubby and I have a routine. And that's really what it comes down to. You get a routine going, you learn your animals, and you guys, because you kind of, it's like a, like a beautiful dance, guys. It's like a beautiful dance. Suzanne, some kitties are kind of territorial. Yes, they are. The animal welfare community really needs to understand that there are humans attached to companion animals and give people grace as they try to provide the best care for their pets. Agreed. Agreed, Wanda. I think the fountain filters were delivered. Were they? Um, wait a second. <laughs> Hang on, guys. I'm going to put this stuff in the fridge quick because we have, sometimes we have porch pirates here. So I am going to go and just check real quick because <laughs> if that's the case, then we can do a quick little unboxing here on screen or on stream. Okay, you're at no. Okay, honey, honey, that's tomato, tomato thingies. I don't want you eating those. Give me a second. I, I just don't want something sitting on my porch for very long. So if you, if it says they've been delivered, hold on one second, guys, I will be right back.
Jira, did you dance for everybody? You were right. Yay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Because like I said, we do have porch pirates around this area. So I'm glad you let me know that so I could go grab them off the porch before somebody like tried to sneak them. Although how funny it would be if they were like, I'm stealing the package off her thing. And what do they get? They get filters. <laughs> it must be hard when you have kitties that don't get along. My two adore each other. Thank goodness. Um, You guys have seen. I mean, for the most part, mine get along just fine. Um, It is difficult when you have some that won't get along. But, um, like I said, you make adjustments. You really do. So this, just so you guys know, is, listen, ripped open because I'm so, I'm so just bad about this. So this should be, yay, filters, filters for the fountain. Yay. Thank you, Kat. Thank you very much, Kat. We appreciate it so much. That was awesome of you to get the filters and the little, little, these little thingies. Oh, you want me to, you guys want me to show you which, how you put these things together? Let's do that quick. Okay. So this is the top to the filter that, that we got. And this piece right here. So I was trying Okay, so this piece got all clogged up, and I ran out of the filters that go on this little thing, which I'll show you in a second. So I was like, okay, well, you know, they love the water coming out of the little fountain head, so I'll just keep it running. Problem is, is apparently this piece right here, being on here, creates the vacuum needed for the water to actually run. Because without this, the water just kind of dribbles out of here and whatever, and I don't want to burn out the motor. So, Amazon Fairy. <laughs> um actually found some of those who said mean things to me have never had multiple cats. And so I try not to listen so much. Sometimes it can be tough. And I, I get that. Um, I'm sure Kim will agree. The price of things is the real challenge. Uh, I do agree with you, Cam. I do. I agree with you hundred percent finding deals. That's why, listen, that's why sponsorship be damned. If I find something that I think will save you guys money. Cause I know a lot of you guys are dealing with multi-cat households like me. If I find something that's going to save you guys money, I am literally going to bring that to you no matter what. And I will never try to back something that I don't actually believe in. Just so you guys know, I don't, I don't care. I don't care what kind of money somebody offers me. If I don't think that the product is worth it, I'm not going to bring it to you guys. Just so you know, just you guys have my word on that one. Cause I'm not, a, I'm not a good liar. Obviously I've never been a good liar. In fact, here's something you guys wouldn't have known if I didn't tell you about it. But I am wearing socks with sandals. Yeah, I'm wearing socks with sandals right now. Y'all wouldn't have known that unless I told you that. Told you that because it looks ridiculous and I feel kind of silly for doing it. So I had to share it with you guys just so you know that I'm not always that cool. That cool stud muffin kind of person that you guys. Uh, mm, see? Yeah, I'm wearing socks with sandals. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so back to the fountain top. <laughs> Oh, what a lovely kind person you are! So cool. Yes, Deborah. Cat, cat was, cat was so worried about the fact that we didn't have the filters and stuff. And I wasn't. I was like, I'm not gonna say she. You know, she, she's been so kind and so supportive. I was just like, well, whatever. We'll figure it out later on. So then she's like, she's like, I'm gonna try to make sure I send these all the time for you. I'm like, oh my god, you're so sweet. You guys are all just so wonderful and awesome and so supportive. I just love it. Um, Snickers, my. I mean, Snickers, my husband's cat is the bully here. We try to separate her and the others when things go south. And so far, no one has gotten hurt because usually it's lots of growls and hisses. And, you know, you'll find a lot of times that their fights are actually just a bunch of a bunch of just blowhard kind of stuff. But you have to be careful that the, nobody's going to get hurt. That's all. And like I said, I'm not worried about what you're doing. I think you're doing just fine. The fact that you're asking these questions and that this is a priority to you tells me everything I need to know about your house. And I don't need to tell you what to do. You are a grown person and you love your animals and you're doing just fine. Yeah. So anyways, back to this. So that piece goes there, the little round black uh, foamy pieces. And then... And I have no nails, so getting this open is always fun. Watch, it'll work just fine now just because I'm, I said that. Nope, just kidding. Ugh, come on. 
You can do it. You can do it. Come on, Kim. Oh, see? Told you. Okay. So, underneath here is a little compartment. Okay? In that little compartment is where you put... Uh, yeah, I stuck my tongue out when I did that. <laughs> you put these. These are the little charcoal far, um, filters, but you can't just stick them in there. What you got to do is put some water in a cup, put this so fully submerged, hold it into the water so it absorbs. You got to put that in the water for like five minutes. Let that sit for five minutes. After about five minutes, then you put it in this little thing, stick this in the top of the little water fountain thing, and then plug it in. And it works just fine. So yeah, that's how that works. So thank you, Kat. Thank you so much. Hey, hey, we're not, Tara's hot. She's drinking the water of the cup. <laughs> oh, it's always fun. There's always something going on. Not take your time. Would you drink in the water out of my cup? You want, no chance you had no. You was too. I saw you do it. I seen you do it. What? I love you. <laughs> um, I get to talk and then I miss some of you guys. Uh, having more than two or three cats is challenging. That's why Kim's channel is unique. She speaks to those of us who have over two to three cats. And I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go into the whole thing again. But like I said before, I just, I got really tired of only seeing two representatives of the cat, you know, multi-cat households. And that's that tear time. Stop drinking the water. No. You have goofball. You have like 500 water bowls. Quit. Um, either mansions in Hollywood, which are fake. As far as, oh, look, here's the house. It's so beautiful. You pan by the litter box. There's not even one grain of litter outside the litter box. I call bullshit on that. Um, or else hoarders. So I'm here to say there's a whole, whole society of those of us managing households with multiple cats, multiple everything. And we're not in Beverly Hills and we're not hoarders. So that's us. That's all of us. We think it's just because she's the smallest kitten the previous house she was in and she was abandoned and was a feral for a while and we found, was found in the trash. Oh, poor baby. I'm so glad. And more coffee, please. I'm going to assume that you're LOLing about my um my socks and sandals. Tater Tot, stop trying to She is trying to eat the papers. Stop, Tater Tot. Don't eat the papers. It's not food. You know, it's not food. Don't you look at me like that. You not no monster. You get down. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you're LOLing about my socks and sandals, which is fine. Cause I think it's funny too. They're even like, listen, they're even like, I don't know if you can see them very well, but they're like really fuzzy ones, really thick fuzzy ones are like slipper socks. So not only am I wearing socks and sandals, I'm wearing slipper socks and sandals. Cause they got the little thingies on the bottom that like, are like grippy. And if you think that's not bad right before my, my stream, I ran to the gas station wearing them. Yep. And I know I was getting looks from people. I'm like, I don't care. You're just looking because you're jealous. <laughs> we have those X phones and such a such a kind gesture, cat. Yeah, thank you for saying that. More coffee, please. I love that. Uh, I'm still keeping my four in separate spots some sometime together, but not all four at the same time. I had a parasite and super grouchy about the new. Oh, I scratched and infected. Oh, that's right. I was going to ask you, how is the baby doing? The one that had the infected eye. Hopefully it's doing better. Oh, have I mentioned I'm still up from waking up at 5 p.m. yesterday? Ken! Ken! We have two plastic water fountains, but I want the metal ones. Our keys love the fountains. You know, and I figured that out because every time I turn on this thing, um, the cats would come out here and they were so just mesmerized by the, by the, the running water. I'm like, I wonder if they'd like the fountain. So I'd gotten a fountain a while back and they loved the fountain. I'm like, okay, well, they like the running water thing. Fuzzy socks. Yes. <laughs> Love tater tot. I know she's so funny. She cracks me up. She's so, she, listen, she is so naughty. <laughs> she is so naughty, but the things she's naughty about is hilarious. And it cracked me up and I have a hard time not laughing about it. And then I'm like, I can't really get mad at her when I'm, when I'm laughing hysterically. I first introduced myself to the chat as a woman married to a woman because at five adopted rescue cats, we meet, we meet the stereotype nicely. <laughs> listen, listen, I absolutely, <laughs> I love you. I think you are phenomenal. 
I think you're awesome. I think your whole listen. I love the way you introduce yourself. I love your whole your whole like family thing. Your whole dynamic. I think you are great. Comfort is everything. That's right. Listen, that's one thing I've learned in my old age, guys. So I've got one piece of wisdom: comfort over <laughs> over fashion every day. <laughs> it was definitely about the socks. <laughs> I almost dropped a plant from cracking up. <laughs> I'm so glad. But that's that's how bad I am about lying. I will I will like tell people these things just because it's funny. I'm like, I don't even care. Can we try to avoid plastic because it can give some cats acne? Yes, Wanda, that's a good point. So now, Wanda, I'm gonna I'm just gonna say this because the plastic bowls, yes. Well, actually, you might be right about, no, you're right about the fountain too. Anywhere where their chin is going to be resting, okay, so like bowls and whatnot, when they're eating, their, their chin's obviously touching the bowl. If you have plastic or whatever or ceramic, it actually harbors, um, it harbors bacteria in that. So when their chin's resting on it, it can, she's right, it, it can cause a lot of um, acne to, to pile up on their chin, which is not good for them. That's why all my bowls for the cats are all the stainless steel on the phone as well, just because of that. And again, I'm sure it's not like the worst thing in the whole world, but it is a concern. It is a health concern. So, you, I mean, definitely, definitely keep an eye on the, on your baby's chins right here and make sure that they're not getting a bunch of acne down here from the plastic, you know, from the plastic containers. Not just anybody can pull that look off, Kim Supermodel. Thank you, Gertrude. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And I'm pretty sure you could too, because you know, you're between. Hi, Peebles. Hello, little pea. Hello, beautiful girl. Hey, Peebles. Peebles, hey, can we do it? Are you going to do it? Are you going to perform this for everybody? Or are you just not going to do it? I'm trying to get her to do the head bob thing. Peebles. Peebles, where are my Peebles at? Where is she? Where are my little Peebles at? You're not going to do it, are you? Because you know people are watching. Yeah, she's not going to do it because she knows people are looking. Oh, where are my Peebles at? There's a little head bob. There she did a little one. <laughs> you little cutie pie. I love when you do that. It's so cute. Um. Oh, no. His other eye got infected. Not much better. And finally, no cone. Oh, good. I'm glad the cone's gone. Tear time. Don't. She's trying to steal them. <sighs> In the magic cupboard. I'm glad the cone's gone, though. I think his play with Kitty Nuffy is likely what got him hurt. He is... Kind of a sweet dummy and sits there while the girls hit on him. <laughs> no, poor baby. Poor pumpkin. We have cat fountains too because my cat wasn't drinking water for a while and I was worried about her being dehydrated and she was losing weight since we got the fountain. She's a happy, she's as happy as Larry. Oh, that's so good. I'm glad. More coffee, please. We are a very accepting community. No judgment here. Listen, listen, Wanda, Wanda speaks the absolute truth. Okay. Listen. <sighs> Just for everybody, for anybody in here that, that is in here right now, or maybe has a, has a fleeting thought, which I highly doubt, but just in case, I have strong ties to the LGBTQ community. I have my own, that has its own place in my heart for a lot of reasons, which I, I won't share because they're not my stories to share. Just know that much. But that community is near and dear to my heart. I am 100% supportive of all of it. Um, I've, I've never shown you guys. In fact, my front, the, the, the window on my door um, actually has a rainbow and it says love is love because it is. And that's my take on things. So there you go. Thank you for pointing that out though, Wanda. And thank yes, thank you, Wanda. <laughs> Um, I have changed. Okay. So thank you, Wanda. I have changed their food bowls, but our kitties don't lay chins. They drink from water out of the, out of the floor. Thank you. Okay, good. If you're able, Stanley Steel feel easier to sterilize. It, then they are. They're easier. Hey, 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 little girl. Can you just, can you just not? Listen, I got to hide everything in the magic cupboard. <sighs> she's trying to pull the filter that I just put on there off. Okay. Don't tear time. No, she's trying to use this. Here's that. She is like a child. She is literally the child that you have to walk around and every time you stop them from doing one thing, they're doing something else. <sighs> More coffee, please. I just got what we could afford at the time. 
wonderful words of wisdom from for this Friday from wonderful camp. Thank you so much. Thank you, Deborah. That's really nice of you to say. I do appreciate it. Suzanne, thank you for saying that, Kim. Listen, like I said, it's not there. These are not my stories to tell, but I just want you guys to understand that. Uh, oh, you saw the rainbow. Good, Gertrude. I'm so glad you did. I'm so glad you did. That has been there since I moved into this house because one of the things I swore was when I moved into this house, the first thing I was going to do, because it's my house, my first home, I was going to make sure that my stance was made. So I put that I put that rainbow on my on my window on my door and it has been there since I moved in here two and a half years ago and that is literally how, how it will stay. You will I'll, I'll probably end up having to scrape it off in the end when I move or something or somebody else can do it. I don't care, but that's where it stays because you know what? Love is love. I don't care what anybody says. Anybody that's got an opinion about that needs just needs to just not be here. I mean, in my in this in this community in this yeah. If you're not accepting of everyone on their terms in situations where it has absolutely nothing to do with your household and your daily life. If you can't accept people for that, you know what? I don't care if you're in this community or not. I'd prefer they didn't join this community because we are very accepting and loving people here. So that's how that goes. That's my stance on that. And that one I will, that, that's a hill I will die on. And if anybody doesn't like it, I don't care. I really don't because I will not ever waver from that one. So yeah, that's how that goes. That's so supportive. Thank you, everyone. Listen, like, like I said, love to you. Much love to you. Yep. So anybody ever wanted to know my stance on something? There you go. You got that one right in your face. <laughs> Ditto here. Thank you, Kim. Hey, you know what? Like I said, when I say it's near and dear to my heart, just know that I mean it is near and dear to my heart. And so I will never waver from that ever. Not as long as I live. Mm -mm. So Kim's Gen X, don't mess with her. Me and Wanda, that's so funny. <laughs> Me and Wanda were just talking about that this morning. Like I said, one of our three hour phone conversations. Um, we were just talking about Gen X. I was saying how um, I had seen somebody said something about this one day and I thought it was funny because I'm like, that's how I feel. Um, so you know how they have the draft for the military? I know that they don't so much do it anymore like they did before, but they still have it. I'm like, don't draft these little boys and girls that are like, you know, 18, 19 years old. They don't even know how to write in cursive. You know who you need to draft? Gen X. You know why? Because we are all older. We all don't give a shit. We're all pissed off. And you know what? Hand me a gun and show me the front lines, baby. I'm ready. I'll go. I will go. I am Gen X. We are the lad. We are the feral, feral. We were the feral generation. We still are. My kids are grown. They moved out of the house. They got their own lives. We ain't got to worry about any of that. I'm old enough to know better and not care. We drank out of the yard hoses. And no, Mr. No Shirt Beanie wearing dude. I know that you know what I'm talking about there. More coffee, please. No, there wasn't an option because we weren't allowed in the house, you guys. We weren't. We walked out that door, and boy, if you came back in, my mom would look at me and go, in or out? I'm like, dude, I only did this one time. Are you kidding me? No, we were out. We were outside, and that's all there was to it. So we did not have those options. Was the faucet not an option? Ugh. Yeah, draft me. <laughs> I know I'm being watched with very loving eyes right now. She loves mama. Ah. Uh. We should all love and care for everyone, period. Thank you, Cam. Yes. And Cammy, that was very nice of you to say. And since I joined, you have always made me feel welcome. Listen, everyone is welcome in this community. It really is. Everyone is welcome. But I will say that there are comments and there are stances that probably won't be well received if, if you hurt people's feelings. Yeah. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. That doesn't mean everyone's entitled to state their opinion. There's a difference, guys. There's a difference. Just because you have the right to have an opinion does not mean that you have the right to say that opinion if it is going to cause other people harm. We used to run or ride our bikes behind the truck that sprayed for bugs. That's probably what's wrong with me. <laughs> I love that. That is so funny. Let me tell you what. Okay, so where I lived... 
um, back in Minnesota when I was a kid, when we would have really bad rainstorms, there was this one park by my house that was literally built like a bowl, kind of like, like New Orleans is, you know, is it's kind of a sunken bowl. Um, and it would fill up with rainwater, right? And then when the rainwater got so bad, we didn't know this at the time, but what was happening was that the sewers would fill and back up into this park and help contribute to that. We were kids. We would grab our shorts and our t-shirts, go running to the park and go swimming in the park because it was that kind of a bull park and that much water. It was sewer water, you guys. <laughs> but when we were a kid, we didn't realize that's what it was. We're talking like 10, 11 years old. We didn't know that. So we would go swimming in that park when it would back up. I know. That's probably what's wrong with me. Some things are better unsaid. You're right, Wanda. That's what I mean. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Not everybody's entitled to say it. My mom always used to tell me growing up, we aren't paying to cool the whole neighborhood. That's right. That's what we used to hear, too. IT tasseled corn and the pesticides. Oh, boy. Give me oh my Lord. We did. We all survived. I'm not saying that we're in the best condition, but we survived. I mean, listen. Listen, guys. So... <laughs> I literally remember, I remember riding in the front seat of the car, no seat belt, in the middle between my mom and my stepdad at the time. Dad's, dad's stepdad's drinking a beer, mom's smoking a, smoking a palm or whatever, what did she smoke back then? God, I can't remember. Oh God, they were those ones that had the weird shaped filter at the end. They were the menthol ones. And I can't think of the name of them right now. Anyways. So my mom's smoking a cigarette, dad's, you know, stepdad's drinking a beer. I'm in the middle seat, in the front seat with no, and standing, oh, yeah, driving down the freeway. That was what I did as a child. Yeah, we learned how to ride bikes without any padding, without any headgear, without any of that stuff. I remember, remember cars when they had bench seats? Yeah, I miss those. Or me and my friends thought it was cool when we got to ride in the back of the pickup truck on the freeway. Yeah, we did that when we were kids. Oh, Rose and Captain Crunch later pot and beer. Jeez. <laughs> no tater tot. It's tater tot. She will not stop everything I set down. She's into. Stop. Tater tot, you gotta behave. Uh. <laughs> I, to this day, I turn lights off when I leave the room and I don't keep the refrigerator door. I know it's like a trauma, Wanda. It, it really is. So to anyone else, okay, so I'm going to say something. Um, I will not leave the light on. I will not leave the light on again a hundred times. Anybody understand what I just said? Please in chat, tell me what I just said. I will not skip school a hundred times. Remember the cars in the FNC? As a teen, I rode my bike into a tree because I was trying to avoid a mail truck that came around the corner. Riding in truck beds for us. That's, that's awesome. Yes. Do okay. So when I was a kid, we had to write sentences when we did something wrong. Like, like I said, if I left a light on in the bathroom and my stepdad caught me or caught it. And he's like, you know what? You go in your room and you write out a hundred times. I will not leave the bathroom light on when I'm not in there or whatever. hundred times. Oh yeah. It was awful. We'd have to write sentences. Why? Because our parents were convinced that, oh, dear, no, come here. you're a monster. You just about fell. Oh no. You just about fell off. We got you though. We got you. You okay? That's a face of okay. Um, but yeah, they thought if we had to write it that many times, it would stick in our brains better and we'd remember it next time. No. It was a treat to ride in the back of the pickup truck with all the exhaust fumes. I know, right? That was always like, can we ride in the back? Can we ride in the back? And they'd be like, yeah, we can. All right, yay! <laughs> you little monster. Little monster. She's such a little, she is, she's a little love bug. She absolutely just loves snuggling and cuddling. Well, she's the one that follows me into the bathroom all the time. I mean, you guys saw that video. Right now, she is, uh, she's just in one of those moods where she just wants to just be a little, little rascal. She wants to be in everything. Oh, too funny. You guys are, you guys are hilarious. I love it. It's actually a miracle that Gen X kids grew up. I know, right? Just think about all, we had, I mean, that was back when Hot Wheel cars, Still had lead in the paint. Seriously. 
She's taking advantage of you being occupied. Like I said, she is literally like a child. She is literally, because she knows when I'm busy doing something, either on the phone or doing this, she knows because that's when she will act up the most. When I'm not doing this stuff and I'm just sitting here, she's just like, meh, whatever. And lawn jarts, remember lawn jarts, guys? And I don't know who, so, okay, I don't know, this might be, um, this might be like a locational thing. But when we, when I was a kid, learning how to swim, it would throw you in the lake. Throw you in the lake. No, obviously not in water that was over your head, but throw you in the lake into water that was about up to here. And obviously there's an adult stand there. They could jump in if you don't make it. But yeah, you want to learn how to swim? Throw you in the lake. We're all here. We'll get you if something goes wrong. Okay. They were real, they were so slack about our well-being back then. <laughs> they were so slack. They were always like, if we if me and Mike, okay, so when I was a kid, my mom did daycare for a lot of kids because we lived in an apartment complex at that time. So my mom did daycare for a bunch of the parents in the apartment complex. So we always had kids in the house. If there was ever fighting going on, I'd be like, mom, so-and-so, blah, blah, blah. She'd be like, is anything broken? No. Is anyone bleeding? No. Then get the heck out of here. All right. <laughs> if we weren't bleeding and if there was nothing broken, she didn't want to hear it. I'm like, holy cow. And I look back at that. I'm just like, that's so funny. I mean, it is funny to look back on. We were all responsible for our own stuff, man. You had to be home by the time the lights went up and turned on at night. My parents said that all the time, right? God, don't. And if mom was having a home interiors party, oh boy, who don't remember those? I mean, I think all of our parents did home interiors or some form of something, some kind of those home parties. And boy, when they were having those parties, all of us kids were banished to the bedrooms and do not come out unless someone is literally on the verge of dying. Because if you're going to interrupt the party, man, there better be a good reason. <laughs> it is a miracle that we all survived. Yeah. Draft me. I'll go. Oh, the Avon parties, Tupperware parties, Avon parties, home interior parties. That tried and true nursing technique. Can you move it? Then it's okay. <laughs> I know that's exactly what it, what it was. That was always the question. I hurt my arm. Can you move it? Yeah, then you're fine. Okay. <laughs> That's so awesome. I love my, our parents were just, yeah, that, that's how they literally were, did things. I think, well, um, I think given all these little revelations we've had here, I think we all did pretty damn well growing up and surviving. Gira, no, no, honey. No, this is not for you. This, no, this, you crazy. You do not want to eat balsamic vinegar. Well, you probably do, but no. I used to ride on the lawnmower with my dad, and one time we went over a hill, and the mower almost rolled over on me. My dad threw me out of the way before the tractor rolled on top of me. My God. That's crazy. My God. So I think the craziest thing that we did with my kids when my kids were younger is we had a four-wheeler, and we also had an old uh, an old uh, couch, like a, like a sofa, a really small one. And we, we attached it to the four-wheeler and we put the kids on the on the, the part where the couch was. So they had a couch to sit on. I mean, we obviously attached it really well. But I think that's the craziest thing we ever did. And we didn't go fast, so it was just around the yard. My parents never let me miss school unless I had a fever or was on my deathbed. I went to school once and was sent home due to having a fever of 104.8. Yeah, that's how we were. I had mono. I actually got mono when I was a kid. And uh, they sent me, they had me out of school for like a week and a half and sent me back because I was able to get, if I was, if I felt fine enough to get up and eat and get on the phone and blah, 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 then I was good enough to go to school. They sent me home because my spleen started, started swelling up again. Yeah. I was like, so much for being fine, huh? Apparently I can get up and eat and talk on the phone because it doesn't make my spleen enlarge. Explained why a lot of us are so messed up. <laughs> oh, it really does. God, this is so much fun. You guys are a blast. I love it. I know, Pibbles. I know, honey. How you doing? I know. I know, Pibbles. Where are my Pibbles at? Get a friend to be. Are you going to do it? Are you going to do the cute thing? Are you not going to do it? It's like, there she goes. There's a little head bob. <laughs> are you dead? No, then you're fine. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my God, that's so true. That's so true. Oh, and the, listen, do you realize they gave us an easy bake oven when we were kids? Think about that. Think about that, you guys. We got easy bake ovens. <laughs> my dad used to say, you know, bleed, you okay. Whenever I fell down and grind, yep. Coffee is 100% true. We're all tough. We are tough. I think we're probably, I mean, every generation is tough in their own sense because they really are. I mean, we can't take that away from anybody. Even, even, even the generations now, they're tough in their own right because you want something done. I mean, if you want a movement to happen and you want to want a voice to be heard, talk to the new generations. They can manage that. They can do that. No problem. I mean, because they got the internet at their fingertips and that's all they've known. And boy, I'll tell you what, I've seen them move some mountains and I think they're great. So, I mean, every generation's got their, you know, got their advantages and disadvantages. Um, I don't think any generation is better than any other. Oh, etch a Yeah. Every time I make a mistake in life, I'm like, do over. Yeah. Um, I don't think any generation is better than any other one. I think each one has its own advantages and disadvantages. Um, yeah, but I agree. Yeah, more coffee. Oh, wow, that what the newer generation goes yeah to go through. The internet is a blessing, but it also makes life rough. It does. It really does. And you make a good point. What we see as uh, all these advantages and stuff, um, they have their own disadvantages going on. They have their own struggles that they have to work through and they have to get through. I mean, mental health is at an all time high for crisis wise. I mean, they've got their issues. That I mean, I don't know understand how they're making it. But uh, every generation thinks that they're the best generation. And I think that's how it should be. Because I think every generation is the best generation. They're the best at what they do. So, yeah. But we are, you know, our generation, Gen X, we are the only, we are the last ones to have lived without internet. I mean, we really are. We really are. Oh, thank you so much. I apologize that I do not know how to pronounce your name or even read it. I really am so sorry. Um, but thank you for the hearts. I really appreciate that. That was very nice of you to jump in. Um, but no, our generation, you know, we went to school without, um, computers and without internet. We didn't have internet when we were younger. It came along as we were in school and growing up. So we're kind of an in-between. We're like a linking generation. We link the generation before us that never had internet or anything like that to the generation that only knows that. Gen C and geriatric millennials kind of straddle both worlds. Yeah, they do. They do. They do. They do. But Gen X rules. You're right. <laughs> Firstly, I want Gen Xers by my side in the event of a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. Well, okay. Now, wait a second, Wanda. There's something to be said about the kids that are growing up on nothing but video games. Why? Why? Let me tell you why. Because they can play the hell out of these games that are zombie apocalypse games. And I don't know, there's a couple of them I would want on my side too. So I think I'd want a combination of the Gen X and these kids that can play the games that, yeah, that I can't play. I'd want a combination of the two. <laughs> the ones that can play through all of The Last of Us without crying. Mm -mm. Cammy says, I'll be 30 next year. What? Really? Oh, you're so young still. Oh my gosh. And so wise beyond your years based on your conversations in here. That's awesome. That's really, that's seriously awesome to have you in here at that age. My daughter, um, my daughter actually just turned 30. Yeah. <laughs> I feel so old. I, I shouldn't say that because I mean, I had my daughter when I was 18. So, I mean, it's not so bad. I could be way worse. I told my son to throw me to the zombies and run since I can't run anymore. <laughs> I'm not telling my kids that because they'll do it. Forget it. Uh-uh. Don't throw me to the zombies. All I know is I don't got to be the fastest one to run. I just have to be faster than my friends. I just translated her name. It's Eleni Plumery too. I don't even know how to listen. I can see that. I can look at it. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. I know I just slaughtered that, and I'm so sorry, but it looks like the first name is Elen Eleni, Eleni, Eleni. I'm going to say that five different ways. Eleni, 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 Eleni. 
<laughs> but thank you. Welcome. I'm glad you guys, I'm glad you jumped in here. And thank you, Catitude, very much for translating that because I can't right now. The 30s are so good. They really are. They really are good. Yeah. And like I, like I was saying, you don't got to be the fastest one. You just got to be faster than one of your friends. That's all. Just faster than one of them. As long as you're not in last place, the zombies ain't getting you. Yeah. Just hope to God that they're not the zombies that are on bath salts, guys. Yeah. Cold blooded. <laughs> I'm not, listen, I didn't make those rules. The zombie is going to get whoever's in back. I didn't make that rule up, but that's not like I made it. No. Catitude is awesome, Gertrude. You are absolutely right. I appreciate the fact that you did that. That means a lot to me, and I'm hopefully they understand how much you know we appreciate them. Hello, Pebbles. Are you just sitting here purring with mama? Hello, pretty girl. Hello, beautiful girl. Mwah. We're gonna be doing a deep dive tomorrow into Pebbles here and her brother Oswald during the uh right after we get done with uh doing our clips with uh with the members stream tomorrow. So if you can member up, it's $2.99. The lowest tier is $2.99, and um, you'll be able to access that. And, uh, yeah, we've been doing a deep dive. Boy, am I late. It's okay, Jerry. It's okay. Um, actually, I was just getting it, getting ready to jump into the – babies are doing well. Good. I'm so glad. Yay, grandbabies. <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, I was just wrapping up and telling everybody reminders for this weekend. Um. Yeah, tomorrow is members only stream and we will be doing, I may be able to get picks today. Good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah, I've been looking forward to picks. Um, we'll be doing our members only stream tomorrow and we'll be doing a deep dive into Pebbles and Oswald. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Will Jenna be on tomorrow? Yes, she will. Jenna will be here tomorrow because um, she's got, yeah, she's going to, like I said, she just, she's spending some time with her mom today. So she deserves some time off. She works so hard for all of us and for this channel. So yeah, I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it all letting her or not letting her, but saying, Hey, go do something, take care of yourself, have some fun, enjoy some time. I, I like it when she does that because she does, she works so hard. <clears throat> it's like tirelessly. She really does. Um, hi, <laughs> I love you pumpkin. Yes, I do. I love you. Mom, I'll put your uh, fountain together as soon as we're done. Okay. And you guys can have a fountain back. Can you guys say thank you to Kat? Can you say thank you to Kat? Oh, pumpkin. <laughs> uh, tomorrow. Okay, so tomorrow, usually we do at 1 o'clock, but tomorrow we are doing this at noon Eastern. So it's an hour earlier than normal. Um, noon Eastern, yeah, it's 11 o'clock Central. Yeah, 11 o'clock Central. The way Pebbles looks at you so lovingly, I want her now. I know, isn't she? She's so sweet. She's just a little love bug. Aren't you? Are you mommy's little dog bug? She does. She just sits and she just has the cutest little look on her face. She's so awesome. It's perfect as I have a meeting at two. Okay, good. Hi, P. <laughs> Hi, my girl. Hi, beautiful. Beautiful baby. She's such a good girl. She's such a sweetheart. Yes, I know you. I know, sweetheart. You know we're talking about you, don't you? And Catitude, I'm using your favorite mug today. I always think about you whenever I pull this mug out because I'm always like, oh, that's Catitude's favorite mug. Yep. I know. So, um, so yeah, so like I said, tomorrow members only, <laughs> you saw that good. Um, tomorrow's members only stream clips, deep dive into Pebbles and Oswald. Sunday, we are doing, um, legend, legend. Um, and, uh, oh God, Jenna's not here. She's going to kill me if I get this wrong. Megan, I believe her name is Megan. Mm, listen, I've got, listen, bad, bad brain, bad brain. Um, take a break from the news. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Welcome in. Um, we are actually just wrapping up right now. Um, we made, uh, everything bagel avocado toasts a little while ago and those are phenomenal. They're in the fridge. I got to get them out cause I'm going to eat them as soon as we're done. They're a little, a little bit messy to, <laughs> to eat on stream, obviously. Um, this is pebbles. Pebbles is pebbles being very lovey. I guess I'll be, I'll get up with the sun. <laughs> I love pebbles. Now I guess I'll get up with the sun. Tomorrow. I love that. Um, yeah, and yeah, so Sunday we're doing um, our Let's Chat Live with um, with Megan and Legend. So looking forward to that. Um, what else? I think that's it. I think that's it for the reminders right now. Oh, yeah, and um, if you guys want to check out the new merch, we just dropped two more shirts in our collection of the kitties and the, the jerseys, the jersey-style T-shirts. You know what I mean. 
Um, so go check those out. I can't for the life of me remember. My phone's not next to me, and I'm not going to go find, run and find it right now. But um, yeah, the last two that we just did, I think one of them is, I want to say it's Mittens and Figaro. That's what I want to say. I want to say it's Mittens and Figaro we just did, we just released, but I'm not going to swear to that. Anyways, go check it out on bonfire.com forward slash store forward slash life with 18 cats. Kim is the cat mama. <laughs> That's right. You guys can call me the cat mama. That's right. Yeah. Nobody's going to call me the cat mommy. I don't know how comfortable I am with that anyway. <laughs> it's a joke. I said it out loud. And as I said it out loud, I was like, Bleh. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good plan. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you guys for the awesome conversation, like always. I've had a blast with you guys. Time for Cosmos Eyes Drop. See you all tomorrow. Bye, Kat. Thank you again for the gift. I appreciate it and for letting me know it was on my front porch. And, um, yeah, hopefully we'll see you guys over the weekend. And um, please take care of yourselves. Have a good day. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.